Hi guys, welcome back to the pump room. After two weeks, we have been on a quest to source out some very special information. That's right guys, today on the pump room, we're gonna be talking about Ali's favorite word. <coughs> Winning! Ali, I meant in cocktails. Rimming in cocktails. Cocktail rimming, like glassware. Not butts. PG-13. Right, so in front of us today, we have something called a rimmer. No, it's not Ali, it's this. So a rimmer consists of tears. So you take this off and you have lime juice section, the salt section, bollocks, and the sugar section. Look at that, it's like a cross to ward off the gay. <laughs> Homosexuals, not us. Anyway, we need to fill this with some lime juice. Now I need to cut some limes. Two limes should do it. Cut some limes. This is my new machete. It's been upgraded. I got drunk the other week and bought it from the knife warehouse. Ah. Cut the bar mat. A little bit. We're gonna put some lime juice in this. Gonna take your Mexican elbow. elbow. Mexican elbow, and you're gonna put your limes in it. So, a little like foam thing. This, this will absorb. Just lose it. This will absorb the lime juice. Just gonna squeeze some limes into it. Let's see how absorby it is. So, remember. At the end of every shift or every time you use this, you should clean this. Otherwise, it's just going to be gross and moldy. Right, so we're just going to give that a little spin. Whee! Right, and then we're going to put our next layer in. Salt! So you're just going to pour. Pour like you're a bartender. This is salt-free pouring. It's a really important skill that you must have. Cool. Don't know what we're talking about. So once that's done, we're going to get our last little section. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I can find it. Bollocks. How does this work? And then we're gonna fill this with sugar. This is my Trade Aid UK Pure Cane Granulated Sugar. It has a palm tree on it. The lemon drop uses like a sugar rim, doesn't it? Yeah. So you're gonna get your martini glass. You'd usually do this for a margarita. I'm gonna, so some people will like half a rim. Some people will like a full rim. I'm gonna go for a full rim because I like the full rimming. No one likes a half rim job. No one likes a half rim. Look at that. That just looks horrendous. These are the kind of things you see at like a Spoons or a Green King. Sometimes you'll see it in other bars. Do you think the Savoy uses something like this? You know what? I bet they do because you actually get a really good rim. <laughs> this is going to be good. And then we just... Woo, oh my God. It looks like Scarface at Christmas. And that is how you rim a glass with salt. Now let's see how you rim a glass with sugar. If you like boobs. Make some noise in the comments, ladies and gents. Mainly ladies, I'm lonely. Right, this isn't going on YouTube, anyway. <laughs> I'm just putting some lime juice, lime juice and sugar. And then you're just gonna... Sounds healthy. It is healthy, so if you can hear that sound, that is the sound of pre-made cavities. And this is what a sugar rim looks like. Wow. And now, for your entertainment, we're gonna rim a shot glass. This is a shot glass. It's a glass in which you do shots with. Boop, 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 boop. I think lemon drops have a sugar rim. I know that jam donuts do have a sugar rim. Not, I don't really know many shots that do the salt rim. And this is a rim shot glass. Look how beautiful that is, babes. But if you work in a fancy bar, no one likes rimming on the inside. It's more of an outside thing to rim on. So they're just kind of, get rid of the inner layer of the rim. There are other ways that you can rim things. Another way is doing it by hand with a wine glass. And we just make it go round. And then we just hold it this way and we get some sugar. Salt. I mean, we're gonna get some salt. <laughs> and you can rim this way, which to be honest does not look as bad. 
that actually looks pretty all right. With this method, you don't get any salts or sugar if you're using either on the inside of the glass. It's just a rim. But with this method, you do get it on the inside of the glass. So with margaritas, I really like salty rims, so I like a big rim, but some people might not like much of a big rim. People don't like a big rimming, people like a small rimming, so they'll do like a half rim, because they're not really that into it. <laughs> but it's true, it's actually very true that loads of people only put half a rim on glasses, because it gives them the option to actually like drink it or not drink it. Exactly. Do Tommy, Tommy's don't have a rim, do they? So, sometimes Tommy's have rims. Yeah, have rims. Yeah, I like a good rim on a Tommy. You like a good rim on a Tommy? <laughs> and some people don't like rimming at all because they're uncultured f**ks and shouldn't be allowed in cocktail bars. So, ladies and gentlemen, what rim do you prefer? Do you like a sugar rim? Do you like a salt rim? Do you like a salt rim on the inside and outside? Do you like a sugar rim on the inside and outside? Do you like a shot glass with a sugar rim? Or do you like half a rim? Or do you like no rimming at all? Questions, questions, questions. Leave your answer in the comments below. My name is Cressy. His name is Ali. We love a good rim job. <laughs> New videos every Monday. I'm sorry we left it so long. Leave a comment, like and subscribe. We will see you soon. Anal.